So welcome once again to Registered Resident Occupant. And to continue on this weightlifting condition, and we have, we have this condition, having this dumbbell be at our side here, and what we can do is we can lift that dumbbell, both of them at the same time, up to a certain dimension, one, and then further, two, and then further, three, and then further, four, and then further, five, until you get to that perpendicular condition where your arm is parallel to the flooring and perpendicular to your body. And then you, just, you get that at count five when you go back the other way. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that gives you that range of motion that you have. Then from that condition, you can also do that out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, and then you can bring it back. And the other thing you can do is, while standing, you can go all the way overhead with this and do that jumping jack moment movement and do a 10 count in that. And then another thing that you can do with this designate one dumbbell, once you've done it enough times with no weight at all, is you can have that condition raising this above your head, all the way above your head like that. And then you can do a press. You raise this up like this to your shoulder and then you push it up like this over your head there. And then you bring it back down to the shoulder condition. And then you bring it back down to your side. Now another thing that you can do with this Desmond one dumbbell, and I do most every day, do a partial squat. And you then raise this dumbbell up to this tackle position. And then you bring it back on the end, partial squat condition. And then you can do a partial squat. When you're raising back up, you do an arm curl with a Desmond one dumbbell. And then the other thing that you can do in a partial squat, you come back up, you raise it to your shoulder, you push it up, you get up on the balls of your feet, with your heels off your flooring, and then you bring it on back down. And that's another physical movement that you can do with a Desmond one dumbbell. And then the thing that you can do is you can come up against the vertical perimeter just holding the dozen dumbbell in your hand both of them in, in symmetry get your feet near the and your back near the vertical perimeter you just do a heel raise you raise up on the ball of your feet hold it there hold it hold it until you start feeling a little tired and then you can just move your heels back on the floor you raise your heels up hold it there and then just move it back down to the flooring there. The other thing that you can do with these designate one dumbbells is start with the condition of the side and this side position and up and round and you get that eccentricity occurring around those your your torso and bring this back to the side and raising it and to then your portion and having it be on the side there. And then another thing you can do is you can raise that dumbbell and have it be as it is there. Near your ear, you do your football thought as it is with that dumbbell. And you can do that football toss motion. You can do it so it's, if you thought so, all the way overhead is one. And then the other condition is is off the ear but three quarter of the way there like that and the other can is off the ear is the other condition and that's near the ear and then straight kind of forward as it is if you can see that well the video is just conked out then once again so we'll go ahead and start another video here that's enough for this one